and welcome back to the HJW Gaming channel. Last week I produced a guide for free-to-play players on how to get the most in-game currency possible without spending any money and also the most efficient way for them to spend their currency. In this video I'm going to look for those players who are willing to spend a little bit more money on the best ways to spend that currency to get the most out of your money. Please note of course you do not have to spend to play but if you do this should help you spend more efficiently. Because whilst free to play is hard having to constantly save up, spending money doesn't necessarily guarantee you success. So making sure that you spend your currency in the most efficient way can really help you maximise your outputs. I really hope you enjoy. So first up, we're going to take a look at some of the best things that you can purchase for your money. We'll start with the season pass. In my opinion, the season pass is critical for every single player if you're willing to spend money. The rewards you get and the value for money is so much better than anything else available in the game. The Season Pass offering you countless Mathams, uh, Respect Chests, Mithril and various equipment. The amount of extra you get for buying the Season Pass compared to the free to play option is quite large. So if you only have a tiny amount to spend and you're deciding what to spend it on, the Season Pass would be my first recommendation. So this first off costs around $15. The next option for good value is to buy the periodic benefits. This is the digging for treasure and the craftsman contract. Now digging for treasure offers you 400 gems upon initial purchase and then 200 gems per day for seven days. Each time you purchase this it costs two dollars and equates to getting 1800 gems per week. So over the course of a season you'll get around 14,400 gems for $16 in total. The second periodic benefit is the Craftsman Contract, which upon purchase grants you 2300 gems, and then you also get one Mathem per day for 30 days. And this costs $10. Normally over a season you can buy this twice, so you'll get 60 Mathems and it'll cost $20 for the length of the season. These three purchases in my opinion are the best value you can get in the game. When you combine those with the non-spending things you can get, which is say the red book, so you get that around 20 times a season, giving you 200 gems and one Mathem every three days, which would equate to 4,000 gems and 20 chests over the course of a season. When all combined in, for the cost of your $51 a season, you're left with 2,400 gems a week and also 10 Mathem coins a week. So now let's look at how I would recommend spending the gems that you have got from doing these deals. The Mathams, of course, I just recommend saving up until a chest comes that gives you a respect item for the commanders or equipment that you're looking for, and you can spend them as and when you want. As for the gems, however, I think it's important to spend these wisely, as it is very inefficient to spend these on the 400 gem chests. In my free-to-play guide, I ran through the various ways that I would not recommend that you spend your gems, so I'm not going to be repeating that in this video. If you do want to check that out, just click the link in the description. But for now, I'm going to look at the ways that I would recommend spending your gems. So the first way to spend these gems, and the best way in my opinion, is on the half price chest. So of course you get one free chest every single day, and you can also open a second chest for the cost of 200 gems per day. This equates to around 12,000 gems a season, but will equate to an additional 60 chests as well, every season. Another great way to spend these gems is to also spend them in the tavern on the tip refreshes. The first reset of each day costs 200 gems per day and the second reset costs 400 gems per day, each one granting you up to four additional tips and sometimes an additional shop to spend your Mathem vouchers on. Over the course of the season this will equate to around 36,000 gems per season cost. However, for that cost, you do get an enormous 12 tips per day, equating to 720 tips per season. This equates to around 4,200 gems a week as well. Definitely, definitely worth doing. However, anyone doing the math will note that that therefore means that the tips I've recommended cost 36,000 gems and the daily chests I've recommended cost 12,000 gems, meaning we have a total gem spend of 48,000 gems. 
The stuff that I recommended earlier on, the best spend for your money, only grants you 18,400 gems, 4,000 from the Red Book and 14,400 from the Periodic Benefit, which therefore leaves you in deficit of 29,600 gems. Now, the best situation here would be spending around $100 for the Double Gem Bonus Pack, so you get 20,000 gems plus a bonus 26,000 gems for a total of 46,000 gems. If you can't afford the $100 pack, alternatively, go in for smaller packs to reach or get as close to your goal of 29,600 gems is the best move. Of course, this isn't including the gems you get from the Season Pass. However, if you're not willing to spend that additional amount on the double gem packs, what you can also do is just limit the amount of second tip refreshes you do at 400, tip, uh, 400 gems per refresh, and that can then bring the cost down to the level that you're looking to spend at. But working on the assumption you are willing to spend on the $100 gem pack, the end recap is your total spending per season will come to around $151. You'll therefore have needed 48,000 gems and you'll have left over 16,400 gems, which you can then spend however you like, potentially on the Matham chest at full price, or what I would recommend is keeping that surplus left over for the next season so you don't have to spend as much in the following season. What you end up with is you end up with a total chests of around 250 per season. You get 60 daily chests, you get 60 daily half price chests, 60 Mathams from the periodic benefit, the craftsman contract, 20 from the red book, and 50 from the season pass. And 250 uh, Mathams a season will make a huge difference to the level of equipment and respect on your commanders. On top of that, you'll also be opening around 720 tips per season. So the averages from tips, you'd normally expect around 20,000 random respect per season for your commanders, which is huge. On top of that, you, you can expect that your tips to have, you know, around 150 to 170 gear tips as well, which will equate on average to around 8 to 15 gold items, and then 15 to 25 purple items. Now the gear tips are very random, but you can get very lucky with some tavern tips, especially the 60% chance for a purple and 40% chance for gold. If you do get these, then you have a fantastic chance of getting uh, very good gear, but of course it's never guaranteed. With the end result, with 20,000 respect and potentially a huge amount of additional gear on top of all those Matham chests, means that for your $150 per season, you'll be getting an enormous boon to your account every single season. So in my opinion, that is the best way to spend your gems. Of course, there are quite a few things I haven't mentioned here, uh, which normally include the additional deals that you can be offered on a limited basis in the store. I can't speak for these for how good value they will or won't be and whether you should or should not get them. I'm purely speaking on a cross-season basis of what's the best value. For example, in season one, Getting, for example, the Adventurer Waits deal can be a good deal as you get 3,000 respect for Aragorn unlocking the commander as well as 200 gems for the mere cost of $1. So that quite often is worth the gems. Every season as well, I also buy the additional construction queue, which grants me 1,000 gems and the additional queue for 30 days, as this is essential at the beginning of the game to make sure you grow as fast as possible if you're aiming to be one of the top players in the server. The reason I haven't covered this earlier is that a thousand gems for five dollars is quite bad value so if you're just looking to maximize the benefits you get to your account in terms of equipment and respect this is not the most efficient way to do so though for your enjoyment per season in my opinion I just still think this is worth it. And lastly, of course, sometimes you do get limited deals such as additional Mathams, seasonal related events, or the events that you can pay money for equipment, which very rarely surface, but are usually a very good deal. I'm not covering these in this video, as unfortunately they're not always available, but usually again, these can be very good value, though I'll leave it up to you to assess whether you think that's worthwhile or not. And of course, where you draw the line at your spending limit. Remember, whatever you do do, this is spending on microtransactions in a game, so please always be responsible and just remember this is only a game. I do not recommend spending if you cannot afford to do so. 
Anyway, that's everything covered on the spending guide here for those of you that are willing to spend. I hope this has been useful and I hope this helps you use your gems more efficiently and stop buying those Madam chests at 400 gems. I know they're tempting. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked this video, please drop a like below and please consider hitting subscribe. It makes a massive difference to me and I always really appreciate it. If you do, I really hope to see you on the next one.